Hello. So till now we have seen some of the unconventional machining processes. In this video, we'll start with new topic of EDM, which is electro discharge machining. Or let me just type it for you. So the electro discharge machining will be this. In EDM or electro discharge machining, electrical energy is converted to thermal energy. And there is a spark between the tool and workpiece. So we know in machining, we have tool and work workpiece or the workpiece is also called as job. So in EDM, we are using electrical energy and that is converted to thermal energy. So, and the electrical energy is kind of a pulse energy. So there is some pulse kind of generation. So for some time there is an electrical energy passed on. So it is kind of an AC or alternating current type of thing. So there is a spark generated. That spark is because of very high voltages which are applied to tool and workpiece. So the tool and workpiece should be conductive in this case. And the electrodes, the tool and workpiece act as electrodes. So when there are there is a high voltage and there is a very low space in between the two electrodes, there is a spark generation. That spark generation is because of the ionization of the molecules which are in between those two electrodes. So over here, there can be air, there can be some liquid. So over here, we are going to have a dielectric liquid in between them. That is generally kerosene. So in, the, in between those two, we have uh, uh, the molecules of dielectric fluid. Because of the high voltage, the molecules get ionized. So there is electron removal from that. And there is electron removal also from the job and tool surfaces. So there is electron generation. Let's move ahead. So there is material removed by controlled erosion through a series of electric sparks. So what is happening is the electrons are being transferred from one of the surface to another surface. The movement or the direction of movement is dependent on the polarity of the electrodes, which is cathode and which is anode. And then these electrons get imparted on the surface of my workpiece. So they must travel from the tool to the workpiece. And when they are traveling fr from tool to the workpiece, in between there are dielectric fluid molecules. So when they, when the electrode electrons collide with dielectric fluid molecules, they generate more electrons. So the amount of electrons get increased and all the electrons are now traveling towards the workpiece surface. They get, they get uh, collided on the workpiece surface on the desired location. And that collision gives a very high amount of thermal energy to it. That thermal energy leads to heat generation. And that heat generation evaporates the material. First it melts the material and then it evaporates. So that is the process of material removal rate, material removal in EDM process. Now the workpiece is immersed in a dielectric medium and separated by, from tool by a small distance that is called as the spark gap. Now it results in material removal from workpiece and tool both. But we want a minimum amount of material removed from the tool surface and maximum or the desired amount of material removal from the workpiece or the job. So the workpiece is given the positive terminal that is the anode and tool is given the negative terminal that is the cathode. So the electrical connections are made such that the electron is generated from the tool side and it travels towards the workpiece side. Since the electron has negative charge, it will get attracted towards the positive terminal. So that's the theory behind it. How should we uh, use the polarity of our electricity? Now, we give voltage difference between the electrodes. So that was the first step. Then this leads to cold emission of electrons from the cathode. So cathode is the tool. So there is an emission of electrons from the cathode that electron co collides with electric field, electric fluid. Therefore, more electrons are generated and positive ions are also generated. Now the positive ions will travel towards the negative terminal that is cathode or towards the tool and the electrons which are generated from the dielectric fluid ionization and the original electron which came from cold emission, they'll all travel towards the workpiece. Now 
a column of ionized elect ionized dielectric fluid molecules is there that is called as the uh, the plasma or spark that is the spark uh, cylinder and a, a shock wave is generated high temperature of electrodes are achieved because of those collisions and material removal happens by the process of first the melting and then the evaporation or direct vaporization so material removal removed by mechanical blast which results into crater the crater is that cylindrical uh, hemispherical type of surfaces which are made so the, the craters on moon so that's the same word we are using here now coming to the properties of dielectric fluid so some dielectric fluid uh, used generally are kerosene paraffin and other all light hydrocarbon light hydrocarbon which which have less number of carbons in those molecules like 3 4 5 carbons is is still which they can be used maybe and if we are having more carbons like 50 60 carbons then they are not light carbon hydrocarbon now the dielectric fluid must be an insulated it is acting as an insulated until it gets ionized after the ionization occurs the main job or the main machining starts so it acts also has a coolant medium the fluid is pumped through the arc gap so there is an arc gap which is generated the where the spark is happening to flush away the elect eroded particles from the machine surface that flush this why are we uh, providing an external flush that is to increase the material removal rate and the cooling happens that will improve the material properties of my machine surface so there will be hardening which will happen the surface hard so that is what we want so there is dye sinking edm this and we have we can make a dye from the injection molding then we have wire cut edm which is which has complex contours in which complex contours are possible where we can move our wire in our desired shape or desired direction and that we, we can make complex contours out of it the wire wire can be a bit vibrating so it's easy to cut now pvc uh, or polyvinyl chloride which which are made for the sole of our shoes the the mold is or the the production of those sole sole so is made by injection molding and the mold which which will be required that will be having very complex shape because the sole of our shoes has very complex shape so that injection molding mold is made by this edm process so wire cut edm in which the electrode is the wire and we have good surface finish cnc control wire cut edm is also possible and edm is in general cheaper than laser beam machining so we'll stop over here in the next video we'll start with the modeling of edm process thank you